Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew with Advanced PCs. Welcome to another tech tip video. I just want to do a quick tech tip for you guys. All right, man. So in today's video, what I wanted to um, show you guys is how you can get into the web interface of your router. Um, and that's just really a fancy word for logging into your router. Um, the reason you would want to log into your router is, you know, probably because you're having some networking issues and you want to go into log into the router to you know configure a couple of things troubleshoot some things and all of that good stuff now before you can actually log into the router um what you would need to discover is your is the ip address of that router right and the, and the way you discover that is um uh you would open the command prompt so if you're running windows windows 10 or windows 11 you want to go down to the search bar here um, and just type in CMD. Uh, as you can see, I've done this before. <laughs> I've done it several times on this computer. Um, and what that does is it, it brings up the um, the command prompt of the um, right the, the command prompt. And once you're here, essentially what you want to do is you want to type in this command. You want to type in IP config, okay, and then hit enter. And what this will do is this will this will generate all the information about your IP address for your for your local computer, the computer that you're on, and also it'll give you the IP address of your router. Now, um, what you want to look for once you're here, you want to look for um, IPv4. Now, depending on the computer that you're on, um, you're probably going to have like you know much more information than you see here on my screen. I've disabled a lot of the other um, protocols because all I need is just the basic, basic, basic information right here. So for you and, you know, in your case, you may have, you may see something like an IPv6, which is a protocol. Um, it's a more uh, recent protocol than the IPv4, not to get too technical, but that's just really what it is. And it's a longer string of numbers and letters, right? Um, you probably would see that if you're if you have like a laptop or something, you're gonna have to see something about the Wi-Fi settings on that laptop. So you're gonna have more information. So that's why I wanted to highlight this part for you to look. Uh, this is what you want to look for. So IPv4 address. Now this will give the IP address of your local computer. But in order to get into your router, you want to look for this guy right here, the default gateway. Okay. So the default gateway is your router uh, that the, the terms are used intercha interchangeably um, uh, essentially your router is a gateway okay it's a gateway that allows for you to go out to the internet um, you know get access to the internet it's also a gateway um, that allows for uh, other computers that are connected to it to communicate with each other and internally all the computers that are connected to that to that gateway form what is called a LAN, a uh, local area network. And, you know, computers share resources with each other, communicate with each other that way. Um, you know, it creates like, uh, you know, mapped drives that computers can get, ac another computer can get access to from another computer, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's what you want to look for. So it's called a default gateway. And from in my case, the default gateway is this address right here. So it's a 10.0.0.1, right? Once you have that information, which is right here, this guy right here, uh, you're going to go down to your web browser and you're going to punch that information in there. Okay. All right. So you open up your web browser. All right. And then you're going to, you know, go here and you're going to plug that number in. All right. So it's 10.0.0.1. So that's what we want to do here. And as you can see, I've done this already because I've logged into my own um, router a couple of times. Now, what I wanted to point out is in most cases, right, in most case, um, you know, user settings situation, what you're going to have is your router is going to be provided by your ISP, right? So your ISP could be, you know, Cox Communication, Comcast, Verizon, uh, and Time Warner is, is a whole bunch of different ones, but but the people, the company that provides your internet service, right? And before you can get access to the web browser or you know or log into your router, you're going to need a username and password, right? Every 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 um, router has that information, 
um, has a username and password and they by default um, they just leave it by default in most cases you probably have not messed with this as the average user you're not going to mess with this information so what you want to do is just reach out to your ISP and say hey um, here's my account information I'm trying to log into the um, to my router could you provide me with the username and password um, and they can provide that information for you um, no problems a lot of them are they're, they're, you know it's default so you could probably figure it out because I've done this so many times I kind of know what the default login information is for you know for the router depending on the ISP but anyways, for you as the average user, call them up and find out. And in another situation, um, if you have a third party router, right, um, then you would need to know what the login information is for that as well. So you can always look that up um, and, you know, look that up on, on uh, Google. And in a minute, I'll show you how to do that. Um, but if not, if you've changed that username and password, you'll need to know what that is. So let me log into mine. Um, Okay, and okay, so as you can see, I have a third party, right? I have a third party Netgear Nighthawk router. This is how you would get into the, to the web interface of the router. If you wanna go in, do a quick setup. In most cases, this is probably where you're gonna get started when you first set up the router, right? You're gonna go through, cause it's really simple just to do the setup wizard. It goes through and does it step-by-step -step for you. If you want to be a little bit more fancy, you want to get a little bit more advanced, you have the internet setup, wireless setup, WAN, and uh, you know I've talked about I talked about the WAN earlier. I mean a LAN earlier. The WAN is short for Wide Area Network, um, and essentially what this is, guys, is it's just it's um, it allows for you know two different locations to be connected together so like two different buildings located in, in a different location but they are connect together via the router so the routers are set up right the routers are configured to um you know uh, use the information of another router um to create one big network among different buildings so that's a that's a bit more advanced than a LAN um that's why it's called a, a wide area network because it's covering a much wider area. A LAN is usually within one building, one network or, or stuff like that, right? So not that you guys need to know any about that stuff, but just in case you were interested, that's what that is. Um, and yeah, you guys can go in here, configure all, all of this stuff, um, security, you know, that's always, you know, who you want to block, what block sites, what block, block services, um, access control. I believe this is, um, what devices you can go in um, and block, right? So maybe someone is trying to infringe upon your 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 wireless or something like that. Um, yeah, see, I got a, a whole bunch of stuff here, uh, and you want to block that particular, you know, company or device or something. You could do that, you know. So it's, it's a bunch of different things that you could do to monitor. Now, let me also say this, guys. Um, nowadays, there's lots of um, there's there are lots of the, the the third party routers. They come with um, they come with apps. So you can just download the app on your smartphone, and then from the app you go in and you just configure the router accordingly, which is essentially what I did with this with this router that I have. But in the event that you don't want to use the app, and the app does give you a lot of features similar to what we were talking about here, but in the event you don't want to use the app, you can always use you know, you can always go about it this way. If you don't want to use the app or the app isn't available or the app is not working or whatever, you can get to it, you know, this way. This is this is another way with which you can, you can, um, you know, make that possible. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. But this is pretty much how you get into the web interface of your router. Once you're done, make sure to log off. Um, but let me show you what I mean here. So as far as like the password is concerned, right, let's say you have a router, it's a Linksys router, and you don't know what the username and password is. You could just really, it's as simple as looking it up. So you can say something like, as you can see, I looked this up before, default password for a Linksys router. Look this up. Um, if you had a, a Netgear, right? You could do the same thing, all right? So let me just get, you can replace it for 
whatever the, the, the brand is for your router, right? Once you look up that information, just go in and it'll tell you on Google what the default username and password is. So as you can see here, the uh, username is admin and the default password would be password. And that's that's what it is for Netgear router. If you if you have a Linksys or if you have a um, or if you have a Netgear or if you have um, a TP link or a D link or something, whatever the, the make is for that router, you can always look it up on Google and Google will provide you with that information, the default. Now, if you have changed your password at some point when you first set up the router and you don't remember what the username and password is, what you guys can do, you could re you could um you could you could set it or reset it to the to factory settings. There's like a little button on there depending on the router, you just have to physically look at the router and see where that button is sometimes it's a really small hole and you have to it's small enough to stick a paper clip in there or a pen and you press and hold that button for 10 to 20 seconds and it'll set it to default settings and once you get it to default settings factory settings you know it'll go back to the default username and password so it's just as simple as that so hopefully that tip does help um if you guys have any questions at all well you know feel free you guys can reach out to us here from the website um, or, you know, if you have any comments or questions, you know, you can comment below, leave your comments and let us know if you have any questions there uh, or any other tips that you'd like for me to uh, mention here from a uh, IT tech standpoint. Um, uh, but yeah, like, comment, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more tips. Okay. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you on the next one. So care yourself.